Hey everybody, it's Professor Davis here again from ChemSurvival.com, YouTube channel ChemSurvival. Got my trusty Darling Model Kit here again to answer a subscriber question regarding uh, the twist vote confirmation. And uh, it's a very actually insightful question. The question is, uh, is the twist vote confirmation of cyclohexane chiral? So we're used to seeing cyclohexane in the chair confirmation, which I've got right here. And as you can see very easily, if I align my red atoms here, there's a, a very simple mirror plane right down the middle of that molecule. So this is a chiral. Now the process of ring flipping involves first going through what we call the half chair conformer, in which we flatten one side of the ring out, as you can see that, creating some really, really bad steric clashes there. So it doesn't last long like this. It quickly flips up here into what we call a boat, or more accurately, a twist boat conformation. Now to show you why these are chiral, I'm going to have to turn my molecule here so that my flagpole hydrogens, which I've marked in red, are uh, aligned with the axis that you're viewing. So this would be a boat conformer. You can see how this got a beautiful mirror plane right down the middle. So this is also completely achiral. Now, the real phenomenon that we're talking about here, though, is the twist boat. So these two flagpole hydrogens are in the middle of a steric collision, and they're going to want to relieve that. Similarly, we have these uh, eclipsing interactions here that we're going to want to relieve. So we can relieve them simply by twisting those flagpole hydrogens out of the plane with one another. You can see that. But here's the catch. You can twist them either this way or you can twist them this way. And when you do that, you turn this molecule into a sort of a helix. Uh, it's going to be kind of difficult to show you exactly what I'm talking about here, but there's a sort of a twist in the molecule. And it's that twist in the molecule that gives it chirality. We can have right-handed helices and we can have left-handed helices. So this conformation can't be directly superimposed with this conformation, even though they're mirror images of one another. Sounds a lot like something that you've already talked about probably in class, right? They're enantiomers of one another. Now, these twist boats can very easily interconvert, and they often do. So the fact that they're chiral rarely comes into consideration, but they are in fact chiral, and that makes a really great test question because no one ever thinks about it. But we just did, so now we have an advantage. That's it, guys. I hope that was helpful. Talk to you later.